Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the boat yard here at Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Mercer, I'm a sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. We're here today because we have just in a bailing our 175 Grand Turismo. We removed her down to the golf course here just so we can show off that beautiful machine polish. We've let her bask in the sun and you can see the shine coming off the hull there makes her look as good as new. Now the boat does come with the road trailer as well. And the 175 holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts, mine especially. It was the first ever boat that I had and that my family had and it was what gave us the boating bug. Now this is what a lot of people would have bought brand new as their first step in the boating ladder. So many people you speak to around every single marina asking what the first boat they ever had was. It was a Bayliner 175. Now at the height of production, this was the most popular boat that Bayliner ever built. It's very, very good for newbies, uh, for those just getting into the boating game. The reason what being, it has Mercruiser's 3 litre, 135 horsepower petrol engine. That was probably the most reliable engine that Mercruiser ever built. You turn the key every single time it starts without fault. Inside is very practical. There isn't an abundance of gizmos that you don't need. It's practical, it's comfortable, and also it's very, very cost effective. So without further ado, let me just show you. We've got a reboarding ladder here. There's also a towing eye there if you want to tie a donut behind you. It's an Alpha 1 drive leg. The anodes have just very freshly been changed. Let me jump up inside and show you what she looks like. So we will get seven people in here with these. You've got two in the back, two on the port side, one pilot or driver, and then you've got two up in the bow. So the deck's covered in non-skid and it's all in good condition as well. There's no lumps or bumps or any perforation in it. What is perforated are the seat backs here for added comfort. And then we've got the two-tone marine vinyl or leather with the grey and the white. So underneath here is where the engine lives. It's an easy release hatch. You just pop that off at the bottom or just press it up and it lifts up. I'll show you that later on. We've got twin stainless steel cup holders and then we've got two speakers for the onboard stereo system. We've got grab rails on either side because the boat is very fast and very agile just for your passenger's safety because I'm sure whoever's driving will want to go as fast as they possibly can and then we do have the bimini with the sock all nice and neatly tucked away at this moment in time. This will drop down to form a sun lounger. I'll do that now. Now we've got an elongated sun lounger. You can use that to obviously lie down on but what a lot of people would maybe not pick up on is the fact that you've got four individual seats there where you can just rest up against the side wall of the boat and face in and you can have a word with the captain while underway. Again now I've dropped that you can see there is another grab rail there we've got our stainless steel cup holders a little recessed area that is drained just down at the bottom left hand side there you can see the hole and then we've got our onboard stereo that has a CD player built into it as well. The helm position is finished with a brushed aluminium look and then you've got these chrome dials as well. Battery voltage, engine temperature, speedometer, trim gauge, tachometer, oil pressure and then fuel gauge as well. Bucket seat, it is the Gran Turismo model. And then access out onto the bow, you just lift this hatch and we go straight out. Now this is the place for thrills. You can get two people on either, well one person on either side and when they're sat down they've just got enough leg room if you're six foot to get your feet up there. You've got high gunnels as well safety wise so if you go over a wave your passengers aren't going flying out over the top and then you've got these grab rails and they really are strong and sturdy and putting all my effort and weight into that and they aren't flinching a single bit. Nav lights up at the top and then you can see all these canopy studs are to put on your bow and your cockpit cover. We do have added storage. Let me whip this out. Underneath here, we've got that on both sides. We also have the cup holders that I've mentioned there. So there's a lot of them based throughout this boat. I wonder what they're trying to suggest that you should do when you get out in the water. All there really is to do now is show you the engine. But just before we do that, let me show you the main storage locker which is underneath here. Now you probably could get a set of skis up there because it does almost go all the way up to the bow. It is drained as well into the bilge. You've got a very, very good sized locker there. If you want to store wetsuits, deflate your inflatables, put them in there. The dog, the kids when they're misbehaving, whatever. 
engine. So it's that quick release catch that I mentioned. There is the god, the mother of all engines, the Mercruiser 3 litre 135 horsepower petrol. Such a beautiful clean engine bay as well, if you can see right down there into the bilge. This boat does in excess of 40 miles an hour, runs superbly. All oh, thanks. Probably the most popular engine in recreational sport craft that there is. Now to sum up this boat, I'm going to rip off a Barry White song. It was my first, it wasn't the last, but to me it was everything. Because without this, me and so many other people would not have experienced the things on the water that we have. My first, my last, my everything. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins. <laughs>